Vision Miner here. I'm Cole. And I'm Rob. And today we're gonna to show you what we think is the best way to apply blue tape. We call it the blue tape method. All right, this is painter's tape, masking tape. This is the tape you can get at any hardware store, at most stores, the grocery store, whatever. But it's buy just, the good one. Yeah. I think it's a name like brand. A wax based or something like that. You should buy name brand. Uh, generally, you get better. Because we found the adhesive is better. The adhesive is better. I did at on, least. On name brands like Scotch or whatever. Um, also, like when you when you 3M take Scotch, it out, yeah. you know the cheap stuff will like strip It'll and you won't get the whole thing. It'll warp it. It's just yeah, buy the quality stuff if, if you can. If you're using ABS and stuff, yeah. If you're just PLA, low temp, 50 degree plates and stuff, you'll be fine with whatever you have in your house. But if you really right. if it's super important, go pay the extra money for the nice stuff. But try to stick with the blue stuff. I have my method. Rob probably has his. So I'm just going to jump into what I think the best one is, and that is to be really thorough with it. So you don't have to keep doing it after every single print. Depending on how your plate actually clips in, for instance, on that, you absolutely could not do this. Right, because you got but the fill plate bolts. You have bolts. Right here. But sometimes if you really want, it doesn't make a difference. I've seen some people actually fold it under to get extra strength. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. The adhesive yeah. is gonna give if it's gonna give. The thing with that is it can affect the build plate leveling. Yeah. So that you really don't wanna do that. So that's why we have, like I say, I've said in other videos, get a nice razor and be careful. You basically just wanna cut off the edge and that'll give you the biggest build plate volume. We'll get a different angle later. There's a couple different ways to do it. And then, I think what's most crucial, and I think Rob will probably agree, is actually taking the time. I'm going to turn this around so it's facing the camera properly. Yeah. This is what I think is the most crucial step of this is taking the time to actually line this up as perfectly as possible as to not leave gaps. Make sure there are no air bubbles, which I'll show you how to do later, and to not overlap them, which either means starting perfectly in the center or on the, the side and just taking your time. I take a scraper, get it nice and level down, and then you follow it along. Doing the best you can, you're not gonna be perfect. It's been a long time since I've done this. Now that we have our nanopolymer adhesive, I don't ever have to do this. It was true. Yeah. Um, and then that is pretty good. I'm impressed with myself. Good job, Cole. Nice. What I do is take, it's very important not to let any bubbles be in there. That is why, once again, have a quality scraper down. So lifting this corner so that I can't allow any bubbles in until it's pressed down, down, down. Oh, that's a good adhesion. This bed is perfectly clean. I cleaned it with alcohol beforehand. Isopropyl rubbing alcohol so that there's excellent adhesion, no crud underneath there so that it, they can get in between the adhesive. That's, that's important because, you know, when you do print stuff, the, the part will actually still want to warp up. So your adhesion needs to be good. And the adhesive is actually going to be the limiting factor to how much this will hold down on the plate. Do you want to hold? I want to show this yeah. is get yeah. very carefully and get a very clean cut if you can. This is very precarious because we have to film for you guys. You'll get... I trust him. I have to trust Rob because he's my Thank boss. <laughs> but we wouldn't do it back yeah. Yeah, so, but if you felt it, you can feel that. Put your finger there. That is perfectly oh acceptable. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, I mean, I if, found- If you were to print on that, you would not see anything on the layer, yeah. Exactly. You can get away with having a little gap. Um, that still does work, um, but overlaps generally tend to show as bumps in your print. So if you want a perfectly smooth bottom, do your best possible job at this right here. Back in the day, it didn't really matter that. It did matter, but now I think with a lot of auto leveling, BL touch or an oh, inductive yeah. sensor, these are going, this could really, having uh, bumps, overlaps, that could really or mess gaps. up your settings, yeah. yeah. So it is really important to make sure that that is right, um, that there it, you get it as level as possible with a clean plate. Um, so your adhesion is right, and 
a sharp blade. Continue till the very end of the plate. Do a final to make sure that there is no bubbles underneath there. That feels nice. That's really all there is to it. It's really being patient and thorough with a clean surface underneath the paint, the tape. You should be able to get like multiple prints out of this too. Like uh, when it starts peeling or starts burning or you start seeing it discolor, that's probably when you want to start. If your parts start lifting up, then you want to replace it. Uh, if you also want to run and gun with it, it'll still work. If you don't really, you know, you're just printing stuff that, you know, you're like, whatever. Um, I mean, you can go, you can just go in the middle of the plate, unless you have auto leveling, then you want to do the whole plate. But you can really, say I'm just printing in the middle. Okay, cool. Let me use almost no tape. Um, yeah. And I'll just, you know, make a little surface. Now, you don't want to touch it too much because you can get oils. oils and that's whatnot. a real thing. Right, right. And that'll limit the adhesion. Uh, sometimes you can get away with it. And then just go down. Sometimes you can you just get really close to it. And I like to start start one side. And then I like to go all the way to the other side, make sure it's lined up. And then I can use my fingernail. Oh, whatever. Fingernail awesome. technique. Look at no. Be focused. I just screwed it up. That's the thing. So this can be kind of difficult. I'm just gonna take this, turn it around, and then you wanna be gentle. Always be gentle. Always be gentle. Here we go. Take the palette knife, wipe it off. Easy. It works great for PLA, works for PTG. ABS is ABS. You're gonna need to be really thorough. Well, it warps. That that's the biggest trouble. So if the part would be on there, and then if this edge is is you know warping or whatever, uh, then it's just gonna pull the tape yeah. up, and then you'll have a warped part anyway. So it doesn't mm -hmm. always work, uh, but for basic stuff. It works great. And I've also seen that the, adhe the, the adhesive on the tape can be your weakest link. When you get up to 100 degrees on your build plate, then right. this stuff will just start. If you want to put glue stick on the plate for extra adhesion, that works as well. The combo. Um, the combo. The power combo. The double jab, jab, right hook, baby. Now, if you don't want to deal with all this, uh, we just use our nanopolymer adhesive. It's really easy. You can just apply a little bit, and then you just take a brush. You can use the acid brush. You can use a big brush, whatever you want. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Uh, so if you want a sample of that or something, hit us up, we'll send you one. All right. So that's how you apply blue tape and use it for 3D printing. Thanks for checking out the video. If you got any questions, uh, leave a comment in the section below or uh, hit us up at contactdeficientminer.com, call us, whatever, we're here to help. We're here to help you get into functional 3D printing. So thanks for watching, have a positive rest of your day, and see you on the next video. Thanks guys.